What you guys got another video here for you on how to remove bloatware from Android smartphones. Now this is a Xiaomi smartphone and the process will be the same for any type of Android phone really. You'd need some software to remove the actual built-in apps that you want to remove from the system. Now you can use the uninstall method uh, on some apps but some of them are built into the phone and you have to use this method to remove them. And some of these can be Chinese type of applications that you're not going to use. Uh, like the browser here for instance I don't want to use th that type of browser I want to use Google Chrome so I'm going to remove it from here and you can't just uninstall it and we're going to remove it completely from the phone itself so tap on settings and then once you're inside here we need to go into about phone once you're in here you want to go to MIUI version and tap this seven times this will give you a developer okay now I've already got developer on here but if you haven't it will say you are now a developer once you've got that you can back out of here and by hitting the back button and then what you want to do here is go down here to additional settings there we go so click on additional settings now inside here we want to go to developer options and to make sure developer options is enabled and you can see here developer options is toggled on up the top just make sure that is correct and then what we can do is make changes to here okay so make sure this little radio button is toggled on then we're going to be looking for USB debugging and uh, basically once you find this option you can just toggle that on as well you make it a, a prompt box asking you uh, do you want to enable this you say allow and enable that you can turn it off afterwards now we need to plug in our phone to the uh, computer or laptop so I'm just going to quickly plug in the cable and this will go into uh, charging mode and that's fine so let's just go ahead and plug this in I need to get that around the right way there we go so we've now got that plugged in and that will go into charging mode and that's fine next up what we need to do here is go over to our computer and we need to download two bits of software now this is going to allow us to remove these without root so you can see here we've got the Java download and we need to download and install this now it needs to be version 8 here as you can see download that and install it and once you've got that uh, installed you can now download the Xiaomi ADB fastboot tools now the ADB is available for other versions of Android but this one has been designed for Xiaomi but there is other versions out there that will do the same thing as this and you would need to do the same process to remove those bloatware or Chinese programs from those phones now when you download this Java file you will get a, a warning saying uh, this can harm your computer and you need to click on keep here this is just a normal security measure that's in uh, Chrome browsers and uh, it's safe to download so I'm going to click on keep and then once we've got that we have uh, ready to go now you will need to install the Java first I've already done that uh, once you've done this you can now run the program and then the program will run and this will open up this here now you can see it's asking for an update I'm just going to skip that and then you will see unauthorized device found so it's basically not allowing me to access the phone at the moment and this is pretty normal uh, but what you need to do here is allow USB debugging to go through and it will be an approval from yourself to allow this program to allow you to uh, start removing built-in apps on the phone so what we're going to do here is we're going to go over to our phone and you should see now a little prompt box on there saying allow USB debugging click OK and all of a sudden you will see the phone start to be detected on the software there you go it's found the device now you can see here we do have the app name and package name in the uninstaller area here and this is allows us to remove any sort of apps from the phone and this is useful now some of these apps you can't just uninstall you have to remove them from this process like this and you can see here this is just a generic browser so I'm going to remove that from the phone FM radio if you don't want to do that you can take the tick out but if you do want to remove it just put the tick uh, into the little box here pretty simple feedback I don't need that on the phone either and also there's a bunch of other stuff on here which I'm going to remove now this means that some of these features cannot be uninstalled uh, the normal way uh, once you're inside the phone but this is the only way you can remove them from the phone itself and plus this pulls out everything from the phone itself 
So there's no traces or remnants of that being on the phone at all. Now you can see here also we've got a load of Google stuff on here which I don't use. And you can always reinstall this stuff if you wish. There's a lot of me here, Xiaomi um, stuff here that you want to uh, remove if you don't want to use it. So if you don't use any of this stuff, you can remove it from your phone. So let me just go through here and show you basically all the programs that are on this phone. And I'll show you which way uh, to remove it from the phone. So let's go ahead and start selecting some of these. I'm going to do me video. I'm not going to use the me video. And also we've got the uh, me file manager. I'm going to remove that from the phone. Also, there's plenty of other ones out there that allow you to use your file managers. Me drop, me credit, me cloud backup, uh, me app store. I'm just going to remove all this stuff. I don't need any of this. You've got the Google Play Store on here. Now your me account, you may want to leave that on the phone. Also, uh, Google Play Music, you've also got Google Play Movies, you can remove these if you wish. It's entirely up to you. Google Photos, I don't use. And there's a bunch of other stuff on here which I could remove. Uh, Google Duo, and also Google Drive. I'm leaving Google Chrome on there. And there's a bunch of other stuff here. I'll leave Google Maps. And I'll just remove these two, Google Play Music and Google Play Movies. And again, you can use whatever you want to uh, use on your phone, but these are a great way of removing all the stuff that you don't use on your phone and install what you want on your phone. So Facebook, I don't use Facebook here, so I'm going to remove all this. But this phone is not for me, it's for a friend of mine. So I'm just going to remove all this stuff. I know he doesn't use all this sort of stuff anyway. And again, you can always reinstall this through the Google Play Store. And again, we can see here, we've got calendar. I'll probably leave that on there. And a calculator, a bunch of other free programs that come with the phone itself. We've got analytics up the top there. So I'll just do a few more here. We've got uh, me roaming, remove that from there. And this one here. So let me just remove that. And of course you can just remove whatever you like from your phone. Uh, this is just gonna be bare essentials on here. And again, we've got a scanner there, you can see. I'm not going to be using that. I'll probably use something like ESET or something like that on the phone. Uh, the weather you can remove. If you don't want to use that app, you can use your own weather apps if you wish. And that's just about it, really. I think we've got OK here. Maybe yellow pages I don't need. And I'll remove all those. So it does take a bit of time, but I've got everything uh, ticked on here, which I want to remove from the phone. And then once we've got this done, all we need to do here is click on the uninstall and you can see it there in big red writing. So just click on uninstall and it will go ahead and start uninstalling those from the phone. And that's uh, all done nicely. You can see it just working its way through there. And this will free up a lot of space on the phone and also remove a lot of stuff that you're never going to use on that phone. Uh, which means you can then install programs that you are going to use and it will save a lot of space and also stop getting a phone that's all cluttered. Now some of these um, applications can be deemed as malware even in some phones. Uh, some of the phones that you buy do come with bloatware, which is what we're doing here. We're basically de-bloating the phone from stuff that you don't want to use that's forced upon you when you buy any sort of phone. And it's not just Xiaomi, there's loads of phones that uh, do this also uh, manufacturers uh, bundle uh, bloatware into their phones okay so we've done that let's move on to having a look at the phone you can see it's a lot uh, less applications on here a lot of Google stuff has now been removed that I didn't need on the phone that I'm never going to use and also we've got a bunch of other stuff like built-in apps and tools that I don't ever use and I can remove those from here as well which is clean the phone up completely and uh, you can look on here now there may be a couple of little bits here that aren't actual applications that you want to remove and you can just click on the uninstall by just holding on to them like so and then dragging them up to the actual uh, recycle bin here and it will allow you to uninstall these now you can remove them from the other method as well but some programs you can't remove with this method it just won't let you okay now once you finish this I would advise you to go back into your phone settings and disable USB debugging 
and uh, turn that feature off in that way uh, it, your phone's going to be a lot safer so just turn those off once you've finished using them and you're pretty much good to go from there you can go into the Google Play Store then and search for the programs that you do use on a regular basis and install those programs from there for free or use paid ones it's entirely up to you which way you go about it but that's pretty much it that's basically how you can remove any sort of bloatware or Chinese programs that you're never going to use on your phone and clean it up and install the applications that you want to use and not be forced into using applications that you're never going to use on that phone anyway that's basically it that's how you remove bloatware from uh, any sort of Android phone my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.